If you want to create AI videos that maintain static similar form that changes different section in it, almost like an IKEA ad and things like this, uh, it's really easy to do with Adobe Firefly and Luma Dream Machine. And this is how we are going to do it. So first head over to Adobe Firefly and we're going to start by creating an image. And I like to create an image of a minimalist blank kind of living room area, uh, which gives us a lot of space to make changes and edits. Once you come up with an image that you like, uh, what you want to do is download it. That's really important. We'll be downloading a lot of images in this tutorial. So download that image as a JPEG, as, as, as you would. And we are going to next go into Generative Fill. Generative Fill is across all sorts of Adobe software now, including Photoshop, where basically you're able to select a portion of an image and reprompt to add new things to that image. And this is exactly how this tutorial is going to play out. So from the original image that you have there, you can now start selecting different areas of it and reprompting to put different things in. Uh, so you can put stuff, for example, like different photo frames on the wall and Adobe Firefly will fill that in for you, which is fantastic. After every iteration that you do, you want to make sure you download that new image. So for example, I just added the photo frames. I'm now going to download the image with the photo frames. The next step there is I can keep editing. I'm editing different things. I want to put stuff on the ceiling. I want to put a carpet on the ground. I want to change one of the lamps in the room. Whatever you like to do, go for it and do it. But just make sure you are downloading a new image every single time that you create a new change. Because now we're going to use them in Luma Dream Machine. So Luma AI Dream Machine is an AI video tool. And what makes it so unique is that it has this kind of concept called keyframes able to upload separate images to define the starting frame of a video and the end frame of a video. And this is why it's really cool for creating those kind of IKEA demo kind of videos. So the workflow is basically you want to put in the first video that you, the first image that you just created, the first one, the original plain output from Adobe Firefly. And then that'll be at the first frame. And then at the last frame, you want to add the first change that you made. In this case, it's adding some photo frames to the wall. The prompt here is really important because we want to make sure that things remain quite static. We don't want the camera to move. We want it to just focus on that image and let everything else kind of morph into place. That's why I like using words such as static, still, stationary camera. Uh, that seems to keep things really, really straight on. And then you can add that you're adding photo frames into it. After that, you're left with a video output, which is very static, not moving, where you can just see the photo frames appear. To add on top of this after that, you want to now grab the second photo, the one that you downloaded with the frame, and you want to add that as the first frame, and you want to add the next one. Maybe you added plants, like I did to, to, to the ceiling, and that'll be at the end frame. And you can see the exact same style of prompt, and it's going to use basically the starting frame, which is the end frame of the first video, to add on to the second video that you're going to use. Keep this process going throughout. And before you know it, you're going to have quite a few different videos starting from the original image that slowly changes over time with all the iterations that you had originally. Bring it over to your favorite uh, editing tool. I like to use CapCut and throw them all in there in chronological order. Start with the original photo all the way to the final edited one. To select them and then what I recommend is increasing the speed because some of these videos are five to a few seconds long and it takes a while for the animations to appear. Speed them up so it gives it that seamless transition from one video to another. And all people will see is you adding different things into a living room or a static shot. And you can get pretty creative with this. You can like, try doing it with people. I try doing it with more objects. And it's a really cool way to create those IKEA style living room design kind of videos. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I would love to see what you guys create next.